Head coach Clint Milamak joining me right now. And coach, uh, heck of a weekend against Philly. Big sweep. Uh, two different kind of games, too. You get a, a, kind of a defensive structured game, or at least a little bit more defensive caliber on Friday. And then Saturday was just uh, offensive, offensive, offensive. Your takeaway from this weekend? So it was defensive in, in a way where we had to be. Yeah. And we were stuck in our end most of the game. Um, Philly played well. We were in the box the whole time. Um, our goalie was fantastic. You always want your – at some point you want to look at the score sheet and, and you know, which which game did we steal here as a goaltender and at this level? And, and um, certainly uh, that happened for us. Um, it was a, a really good night in the net. And, you know, they had that 40 – what's 47 saves? Yeah, 44. So, yeah, Motu did a, did a fantastic job of, of bailing us out. And, and we got, um, you know – we held them off the score sheet, obviously, the whole time. But they had eight power plays. They have a very good power play, and we stuffed it that game. And he's the main reason. Um, it, on paper, it says 0 for 8, but they had a, a one breakaway and a couple of good looks as well on the power play, and, and Mo2 was there uh, for us. But um, the next night, it was totally polar opposite. I mean, they got to feel what it was like to have, you know, be shorthanded all night. And mm-hmm. and we took advantage of it. We had three power play goals, and... and um, Certainly, that's what you have to do. Teams take penalties. You have to make them pay, and, and that's how you protect your team throughout the game. Uh, it's how you gain momentum, and, and it would be nice to see the power play um, click. You like the special teams did. I mean, you don't want to be in the position on the penalty kill all the time, but did you like what you saw out of them uh, on Friday night? Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of practice, so so guys, we kind of honestly got into a rhythm how how to defend their their. Uh, their breakout and and work on some things and I thought our defense did a tremendous job of, of protecting the blue line. Um, getting a shorthanded goal was was huge. Kareem El Bashir is is a guy that's dangerous every time and and he found a way to be dangerous again and, and set up Safakitas who not not usually uh, seeing a defenseman on the rush shorthanded but that's the thing like if you want to win games you got you got to be smart about how you attack in all situations and Safakitas. Uh, did a good job of reading the play, not getting past the puck, but reading it. As soon as Kareem turned with it, here I go, and, and attacked the net, and, and Kareem made a heck of a pass, and and, um, and that's the difference for your game. But it's huge having a shorthanded goal, and and it's demoralizing when you're on the power play, and then, then all of a sudden you get scored on. It gets, it gets more frustrating. We've, we've all been there as coaches. But, um, yeah, it, it was – it's uh, – the PK to, to me in the end is always your goaltender. I mean, you can say we we did a good job, but your goalie at some point has to make saves, and he did. You look at uh, a lot of the younger guys coming into the roster and jumping up from U18s and, and everything. That how have you seen the transition for these guys? It seemed like guys like uh, Harrison Smith and Trey Hinton and Aiden Lawson have made the uh, adjustment fairly well. Yeah, they're you know they they came in with high expectations and for for their own games, and and when you talk to them in the summer. You know what are your plans? What are you what are you looking for? And and there's two parts of it. It's, so it's it's fine to say what you want, but you have to deliver. And and when you have a guy like Smitty or, or Trey, like Trey's just you, you can play him everywhere. If you watch the game of hockey, you know, he's what you call a hockey player. He's all three zones. He's a good center. Um, he he plans well. He organizes. He talks on the bench. He seems like a quiet kid. A quiet kid off the ice, but. Um, he does talk and, and, and take control, which is impressive for, for a first year guy. And, but he's confident. He should be. He's very smart. Um, Smitty, he's just, you know, he's a buzzsaw. He's, he's always going. He's dangerous anytime the puck's on his stick. And, and, um, guys, they lost him too. Like just, you know, they, they've, they're figuring, they're still figuring things out. And it's sometimes the first month you can go through the league and surprise people. Now it's kind of like, let's see what happens when, when teams are now in their structure better and goaltenders are more confident in reading the play and also prepared for, for their opponents. Uh, that's the next test for them is the next step. Can we evolve and take our game to a different level uh, so we're not going to have those problems? But certainly they've done a good job, and, and we have a young team. I mean, we have to play young guys, and they have to play PK and PP, and, and they are going to develop. And um, it keeps the older players on their toes, and, and – and it keeps the competition good, which is what we want. Next step for you guys is going up to Rochester, first divisional away series. What has been the focus on this week for practice and, and getting ready for Rochester? They're old, old team, oldest team in the league. They're heavy, uh, well coached. Uh, they're always organized. They they are good at, at getting up ice in a hurry. It sounds familiar, doesn't it? I think we see it about every <laughs> opponent we play. That's the same thing. That's our division. They, they, they can get up ice in a hurry. They have some very good players. 
um, up front and on the back end as well and, and, and good goaltending. So it's another challenge and, and you know, we, we have to be on our toes and they're a type of team where if you, if you aren't sharp on the face-offs and, and you're not aware of your details away from the puck, they can attack in a hurry. They have some very talented players. Head coach Clint Mymock.